Hello everyone, we will start with our new topic in this video that is barcode in smartphones. Nowadays, bar we always always see barcode everywhere. Suppose I'm going to any supermarket, every product has a barcode and machine is reading that barcode and price is automatically reading behind that particular barcode. Suppose whenever we are receiving some parcel from Amazon, Flipkart, everywhere we have a concept of barcode. We will see in this video how to create a barcode and how to display that barcode in smartphones. Now, SAP already provided lots of barcode. 99.99% .99 always we are using those barcodes. But in the rarest scenario, if your requirement is not fulfilled by SAP barcodes, then only in that case you are creating your own barcodes. Now, if I want to display or if I want to create my own barcodes, I will go to SC73 transaction code. So I will go to SC73 transaction code. I will go for system barcode radio button. I can display the barcode. Firstly, I am displaying the barcodes. So these all are SAP barcodes. Suppose if I will put the cursor on C128A barcode, this is SAP barcode. If I want to see the preview, I will simply run test this barcode. I will go for print preview. I will pass the device and I will display the print preview. So this is how this barcode will be visible to the customer if I will use this barcode. Now, maximum scenario, we are always, always using the SAP barcode, but we will learn also how to create a barcode. So I will go to change button. And we have a create button here. I will simply click on to create button. I will choose new terminology. I'll go for new barcode. I will give some name to the barcode. Suppose I'm saying, I will give some description. I'll go for okay. Now I will choose the symbology. So depends upon the particular area or part for which particular industry we are creating a barcode, we have to choose the symbology. And customer is always, always, whenever customer is giving the requirement, he will tell us that what is the symbology you have to use. Suppose I am using code 128. This is the alignment of the barcode. You want a normal barcode, rotated, inverted, or bottom-up barcode. Depends upon the requirement, you can choose the proper alignment. Suppose I will go for normal. I will go for OK. Yes. OK. Now you can see the whatever the barcode I created, it is here. I can check this barcode. I will test this barcode. I'll go for print preview. And this is how this barcode will be visible to the customer. Many times you do not have the authorization to create a barcode, but that is not a concern. Because maximum times we are always, always using the SAP barcodes. But yes, if your requirement is not fulfilled by SAP barcodes, then you can create the barcode by this day. Now, my barcode is created. 
I created the barcode. Now we have to use this barcode inside the smartphone. Now, most important point, I cannot use a barcode directly in the smartphone. I can never, never use a barcode directly in the smartphone. I can use the barcode in the smartphone with the help of character format. Very important point. Whenever you want to use a barcode inside the smartphone, you always has to create a character format. Now we will see how to create a character format. I will go to smart styles transaction code. In the previous sections, we created the style. We gave the header data. We created the paragraph format at that point of time. Now we will create a character format for our barcode. How? I'll simply right click, create node. I will give some name to the character format, CF. I will give the short description format for barcode. Now you can see in the drop down all those barcodes which are in SC73 all are appearing here. Suppose when we started with the topic, I showed you C128A. Now, whatever the barcode I created, you can see it is also coming in the drop down here. So for this barcode, I'm creating a character format and I'm activating this particular smart style. Now, I will go to my smartphone. I firstly, I will show you my smartphone through the program. You can see this is the output of the smartphone and this order number I will display now in the form of barcode. Means this order number I will convert or I will just show in the form of barcode and machine will read that particular barcode after that. So how to do? I will go to my smartphones. Now, just now few minutes back, I told I cannot directly use a barcode in this. I created a character format for the barcode. So I will use that character format inside the smartphone. This is my window where I'm displaying the value of order number. This is the text in which I am displaying the value of order number. So firstly, what you can do, you can click on to that particular text, go to output options and pass the name of the style. Because in this style, we created the character format. I will go to journal attributes, text editor, change editor. Now here I will pass my name of the character format. How to give? You have to give, you have to give less than symbol, name of the character format, greater than symbol. Similarly, you have to pass here also. So whatever is in, in between this character format, it will display in the form of barcode. So this is the way how you can use a character format inside the smartphone. I will activate my smartphone and I will run my smartphone and show you the output. I'm giving the input. And you can see 
my particular order number is displaying in the form of barcode. Widely, widely used concept. So what is the summary of this topic? What we learned in the video with the help of SC73, you can create or display a particular barcode. Always we are getting a chance to work on SAP barcodes, but sometimes in the rarest scenario, you have to create your own barcode. If you want to use a barcode in the smart form, you have to create a character format and we know character format is in the style. We have to go for smart styles. You can create a character format for that particular barcode. You can create a character format for that particular barcode. And after that, you can go to smart form and you can use that character format inside the smart form by using this particular thing. So this is the way we can display a thing in the form of barcode in smart forms. That's it in this video. Thank you.